Good morning, Rehoboth. Um, welcome to the third day of the GBM week of prayer. And today our focus is Madeira. And uh, so I'm going to read the information that we have from uh, GBM. And please also make sure to check out the videos that Rachel Kindly is posting uh, or reposting that we've also received from GBM. These are very good uh, videos for every day and um, just make sure you check them out uh, to support your prayers as well. So for, for Madeira, this is the information we have. And uh, just like yesterday, so I'll read this, I'll read a portion of scripture, and then we'll pray together. Half the size of Surrey, and with a population of over 260,000, Madeira is an island in the Atlantic with great spiritual needs. Outside of the tourist areas, Madeira has a population acro spread across the island that has little access to the gospel and is spiritually confused by Catholicism. Generations of superstition and opposition to the Reformation have had their effect. Pray for Jason and Madeira Murphit as Jason makes regular evangelistic trips to the island. They have started to gather a nucleus of workers together who meet regularly online. And I think a very fitting passage for that would be Ephesians chapter 2 and verses 1 to 10. So I'll read that and then we'll pray for the work in Madeira. As for you, you were dead in your transgressions and sins in which you used to live when you followed the ways of this world and the, of the ruler of the kingdom of the air, the spirit who is now at work in those who are disobedient. All of us who lived among them at one time, um, sorry, all of us also lived among them at one time, gratifying the cravings of our flesh and following its desires and thoughts. Like the rest, we were by nature deserving of wrath. But because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ. Even when we were dead in transgressions, it is by grace you have been saved. And God raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus, in order that in the coming ages he might show the incomparable riches of his grace, expressed in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. For it is by grace you have been saved, through faith, and this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. So let's bring the people of Madeira uh, before the Lord in prayer. And let's also pray for Jason, uh, Andrea and their family as they prepare to go there and uh, spread the good news that we've just read about. Let's pray together. Almighty God, we thank you for the good news of uh, salvation through Jesus Christ. Thank you for how plain you make it in your word what it is we must do to be saved and Lord it is at the same time very simple and uh, we are incapable of doing it um, we need to trust in Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of our sins and in him and in him alone and so we read it is by grace we have been saved uh, through faith but this is it. <laughs> Even this we can't do. Even about this we read that, um, and this is not of yourself, it is the gift of God. Even faith, Lord, is your gift. And so, Lord, any other religion um, will not save because only Jesus saves. And only um, through faith in him can we be saved. And so we pray that the island of Madeira will be um, liberated from this spiritual darkness that they have been in for such a long time. 
And in particular, Lord, we pray for the believers there um, that, that are few in number, Lord, but please look after them. And uh, we thank you that Jason has uh, been able to make contact with many of them and we pray for him and his family as they are preparing to move out to Madeira. Lord, you see that at the moment they uh, are still in the UK and uh, they are keeping in touch with believers there and uh, seeking to serve the people there through um, online means. We pray for these two and we pray for them that you prepare them as a family for this move. And uh, we pray that your name will be glorified as the people of Madeira will be coming to faith. Lord, this is what our prayer is. Please work mightily on that island in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, may the Lord bless your day. See you tomorrow for the next episode of Good Morning Rehoboth. God bless you.